And I feel like, in all honesty, I feel like Laylatul Qadr is too special of a night for it to be marked. It's too special, it's too great, it's too virtuous of a night that it's marked on a certain day and it's just given like that. I believe that Laylatul Qadr is a night that has to be found, okay? Um, you know, gold, gold, if gold was available on trees, it would not be valuable. If gold uh, came out of the soil like plants, it would not be valuable. The fact that gold has to be mined from hundreds of feet in the ground with machinery and it has to be taken out of rocks and even then you get this much gold, okay? The fact that it has this property makes gold valuable. There are pearls uh, and gemstones that are found in the depth of the oceans, in the belly of certain fish. There are shells in the belly of certain fish and inside of these shells there are gemstones and pearls and these are worth yeah, I need thousands and thousands of, uh, of dollars. If they were found easily, they wouldn't be valuable. Laylatul Qadr is the best night in the whole year, okay? One night, if you can imagine if someone on this one night, he prayed, you know, everyone inshallah will be praying Taraweeh or people will pray Tahajjud and people will maybe read Quran at night or even if just make a simple 10 minute dua at night time in Ramadan every night. Imagine one night was Laylatul Qadr and you were able to pray Taraweeh prayer, you were able to pray Tahajjud prayer or do any other act of worship. Then that night is equal to 1000 months, which is 83 years. So your act of worship will be multiplied across 83 years that you never lived, but it will be multiplied in that way, such as the mercy and such as the Rahmah of Allah wa ta'ala. So a night so great, it's not going to be found easily. It's not going to be given to everyone either. Okay. Those people that search for it, those people that pray every night, hoping to catch it, they are the people that are more likely to be given this gift of Laylatul Qadr. And uh, from the evidences that we do have, then the last 10 nights of Ramadan are the nights in which this night is most likely to be found. And from them 10 nights, it's the odd nights. But don't forget, Ramadan starts at different times. So in, one, in, in, in Pakistan, I know it starts sometimes a day later. In the UK, it starts a day earlier. In the Arab countries, it starts sometimes a day earlier. So your odd, odd night could be my even night. And my even night could be your odd night. So it makes more sense that the last 10 nights, you exert yourself fully. And the Prophet ﷺ, uh, when the last 10 nights of Ramadan would enter, there is a hadith that says he would tie his belt. He would tie his belt, meaning he would become even more, uh, he would exert even more effort in the last 10 nights just for Laylatul Qadr. So whether it's odd or whether it's even, I think the last 10 nights of Ramadan, everyone should go all out, all out and, and yani, treat them days like all of them are Laylatul Qadr. And I'll leave you with one statement. And this statement is so profound and it's so, so yeah, and deep. Uh, Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, a great scholar from the past, uh, 500 years ago he died. He said, if Laylatul Qadr was one night in the whole year, he said, I would pray every single night in the whole year to be able to find it. He said, but it's only 10 nights.